All right, I'm going to walk you through a two chord song in the key of G. And we're going to use a familiar song so that you don't have to think too hard about what you're playing along with. We're going to use the old classic Shoe Fly Shoe. I believe that's the proper name of this song. If your experience was anything like mine, you sang this in grade school. So this should be a familiar melody for you, and that should help you uh, concentrate on what's important here, which is catching when the chords change and how this boom chicka strum fits in underneath the words and the melody of this song. Here's how the song goes. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to come in and start playing where that next one would be, and you're going to jump in with me. And you're just going to sync up the boom chickas with me. And if you fall off the horse, you get out of sync, just take a, take a break for a second and then jump back in when you can find the top of one of those strums. Meanwhile, I'll call out the chord changes. We get a feel for the pattern of the chords. The two chords in this song are G and D7. And you'll get a feel for that. And then I'll start singing the song and doing the changes. I just want you to play along and as best you can. And of course, keep repeating this section of the video until you're feeling pretty comfortable with it. One, two, three, four. G chord. Chicka boom. Chicka boom. Chicka. D7 chord. Boom. Chicka boom. Chicka boom. Chicka boom. G chord. to the G. Boom, check a boom. Flies in the buttermilk. Shoe, fly, shoe. Flies in the buttermilk. Shoe, fly, shoe. Flies in the buttermilk. Shoe, fly, shoe. Well, that was our first jam there. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure, like I said, to keep repeating this section of the video until you can play along fairly competently. Then move on to the next two chord song.